Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. Uh, kind of a shorter video today, uh, but I wanted to do some channel announcements, uh, specifically that I'm going to uninstall some games. And the first one we will do is Monster Strike. This is like super duper important to me. Maybe not so important to the uh, most of the folks watching, uh, but I started this game many, many years ago and it got me into mobile games. It got me into kind of watching the, uh, the Japanese game industry. Kind of kept up my Japanese. I, uh, I watched the, uh, the Japanese YouTubers and uh, also this game got me into YouTube. <laughs> And it actually kind of brought me back to Japan after I had uh, given up on it once. I go back and forth between the States and Japan, but maybe this time might be the time that I stay in Japan. So super important game to me. I have nothing but love for this game. I've probably spent enough on it to buy a car, but that's over the course of like eight years, so I think that's worth it. And I want to say thank you to uh, Scott Knack. He is another Monster Strike YouTuber. Uh, we always had uh, good relations, and he's still making videos for the game. God bless him. Uh, go uh, subscribe to his channel if you like. And I also want to thank the, uh, the global team from Monster Strike. Uh, the global version of Monster Strike went away a long time ago, but I was on good terms with them too. Uh, they actually invited me to the offices in Tokyo uh, to have a tour, uh, but the timing didn't work out. If we'd stuck to the original timing, it would have worked out, but they changed it. I wasn't available. Uh, I'm not bitter at all, but... <laughs> yeah, I just stopped playing the game, and they actually lost me a couple of years ago uh, when they really started to make the very top, high-level difficulty stuff like too technical, and then like too reliant on um, limited time units, and they really started to increase the pace of releasing limited time units, and I couldn't keep up, I lost interest in the game. Still an excellent game, uh, you can get into it today, you can go back and uh, search. I have all kinds of uh, lists and stuff on my channel. I'll leave all that up. But yeah, I think it is time to say goodbye. Alright, delete app. Yep, delete. Okay, it's gone. <laughs> Thank you again, Monster Strike. Very, very important to my life. Okay, next, let's uninstall Near Reincarnation. This might be surprising. Oops. To people as well. But at this point I've made all the videos for it that I think I need to make in order to prepare uh, global users for the, uh, the global release and I'm really just kind of hanging on uh, for the story and then the story is not enough for me to want to stay with the game and I kind of knew this getting into the game once I figured out like what the, uh, the battle system was. And it just goes to show like how good of a game War of the Visions is, uh, because even if like you're done with the story, or like even if all of your guys are like maxed and you're not working on anybody, uh, there's so many like rich uh, PvP modes and then PVE modes uh, that it can keep you entertained. War of the Visions really is a special game. I hope everybody appreciates that. <laughs> but again, near reincarnation uh, for the right player, I can recommend it. And then um, I will talk about it soon. I want to talk about uh, simulation games uh, in a, uh, another video. And a near reincarnation will uh, figure into that. Okay, last announcement here. I am going to uninstall Horse Princess. Alrighty. And goodbye. And goodbye. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Uh, that was a fun week, uh, but I think I saw everything that I needed to see in there. I took a bunch of the uh, characters there to B rank, and then I really got the impression that uh, in order to get A or S rank class units, I would have to start spending. And then why would I even want to do that? Because I'm not interested in PvP. Uh, but I still have to make a video about it, like a review of the game. Uh, but I don't need the game itself to talk about it, I think, uh, because it'll be kind of half a review of the game and then half an investigation of why the property is so popular in Japan. And I can just use, you know, whatever uh, official artwork uh, to make that video. Okay, uh, the games I am not uninstalling are uh, Magic the Gathering Arena. Uh, the reason for that is because I play it so little that it doesn't really impact my life at all. 
but it's just a game that I have loved since 4th edition, way, way back in the day. So every once in a while I'll get a hankering, and to be able to have it there uh, ready at any time will be great. At the moment I'm playing it like, you know, once every three days just for the, uh, the daily missions that kind of stack up, and I can uh, save up gold uh, to buy uh, packs or whatever. Really, really casual, so I don't feel like I need to uninstall that. And uh, that means, with all these other games out of my life, I can concentrate more on War of the Visions, which is what I want to do. Both uh, Global and JP. Alright, uh, I did say this in a previous video, but uh, I want to change the banner for my channel uh, away from Monster Strike, and then I also want to change maybe the icon for my channel also away from uh, Monster Strike, so... Uh, we'll see if we can do that uh, sometime this weekend. Okay, again, big thank you to Monster Strike. Big part of my life. That phase is over. I got uh, other things to think about. Alright, thanks for watching and we'll see you again. Take care.